Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm just introducing trusses and how we'll be using them in statics problems. So trusses are structures that are made up of only straight two force members uh, that are connected at their ends with pins or joints. So in a typical statics problem, you'll see something that looks like this. This is our truss, and it usually resembles like a bridge or a, you know, you also see this type of pattern in cranes on construction sites, that sort of thing. So trusses tend to be made up of triangles because connecting triangles gives us a stable system. Imagine this guy down here. If we were to push it like this, it would stay stable versus if we had a box over here, if we were to push it, it would be unstable. So in statics, we make two big assumptions about trusses. The first is that all joints are pinned connections, which means they cannot resist moments. And the second assumption is that all members of a truss are slender and can't support a lateral load. So a lateral load would be something that's not, you know, it would be like uh, perpendicular to the axes or something. It's not in line with the axes. So the combination of these two means that any internal force in a truss member is aligned along the axes like that, whether it's in tension or compression. Uh, so that kind of brings us to the next point is that members, every single member will either be in tension or compression, or also there's a chance that it'll have no internal force and we call that a zero force member. So that's all I have for this video, but in the next couple of videos, I'll go over the different methods that we use to analyze trusses and also a little bit about a couple example problems and we'll talk about zero force members as well. So I will see you guys in the next couple of videos and we'll talk more about trusses.